Hello Sally Green, thank you very much for agreeing to come today to visit. Your visit has been very highly anticipated and we are so glad you could join us. So, it's as I said before, this afternoon I'll just be asking you questions on your real good book, Half Bad, and on okay. Hugh, is that right? Thank you. Sorry. Um, we hope that your answers will help other young readers ha have, have a deeper insight in, on your views of the book and will be a great contribution to our trailer promoting your book, Half Bad. So, to start, could you just give a brief synopsis of the book to anyone who hasn't read it yet? Okay. Um, the book is called Half Bad, and um, it's been published a few months ago in March uh, 2014. And it's the story of Nathan, and uh, the front cover, I think, shows Nathan's profile, um, which is in blood, in water, and on the back, um, his profile again with a white background, and that sort of hints at Nathan's nature because he's a witch um, and he lives in Britain and uh, it's set in the present day but he's what's called a half code so he's um, half white witch, half black witch and in Britain um, the white witches have taken control they've uh, managed to drive out most of the black witches and they kill most of them uh, the others have fled except for one, Marcus, who's Nathan's father. He's the blackest, most evil of the black witches. And Nathan's caught in the middle because he's, his mother was a white witch, a very good healing white witch. She's now dead. But um, the story really follows Nathan's early life up to his 17th birthday and covers his sort of search for himself. Is he more black witch, more white witch, or in between? And at the beginning of the book, he's being kept a prisoner in the cage. And um, that uh, really sets the tone for the book because it is quite dark. There's quite a lot of violence. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite strong in places. Um, but uh, he's being kept a prisoner of the White Witches. And it's, he's there not because he's done anything bad in particular, but because of what he is, because he's a half code. So it's all this um, view of is he, is he is he going to is he being driven to be a bad person because of the way they're treating him, or is his nature black anyway? Okay. Um, how long did it take you to write the book? Ooh, gosh. Um, not long once I got going, but it was getting going. I think that was started. It was a complicated story. This, but. Um, uh, Half Bad is the first book I've had published and it's only the second book I've written but I started Half Bad gosh um, April 2000 and I'm going to get the years wrong aren't I April and I finished it December so what's that eight or nine months but I was working quite hard on it so I don't know if that's quite fast or not so fast but anyway but then I had to edit it because that was just yeah. to get the first draft and then I got a publishing deal and I did lots of editing work on it after that. So where did you get the inspiration for the storyline in the first place? Um, oh gosh, I think a mixture of things. I think there's never one thing, but it all comes together. And um, the initial idea was the three gifts thing. So this is the to, for a witch to become a full adult witch. So, um, so you're born, if your parents, one of parents or both parents are witches, you will have this witchiness within you. But you have to go through a ceremony on your 17th birthday, a giving ceremony. And uh, you have to receive three gifts and you have to drink the blood of your parent or your grandparent. And, um, and that giving ceremony was really my first idea. So I had this idea of somebody being given three gifts, what would happen, they'd become a witch. And then the story started from there, really. But um, I think the other key thing was when I started Half Bad, I had, as soon as I wrote Nathan's, from Nathan's point of view, I just thought it was just great fun. I was just having a great time writing it. So, um, writing is fun. So, so, yes, it is fun. Well, it is fun when it goes well, but yes. Uh, it's a very interesting storyline. Thank you. It's very gripping as well. Good. <laughs> Were any parts of the book particularly difficult to write? Um, I think, uh, as uh, people often ask me, is the violent bit's difficult to write? And I have to say no, because I knew 
what I was trying to achieve. And um, so I think anything, as if you're a writer, if you're writing essays for school, if you know the story, you know what you want to say, it comes out easily. Exactly. Um, the book is quite violent in places. How do you think it's benefited the story? And also, what age group do you think the book's for? Um, the key thing for me on the violence is, I think this is really important, that um, uh, in books for young adults as this is, um, that writers don't try, don't do two things. One, don't try and avoid it if it's part of the story, and certainly would be in this, in this book, I think it's vital. Um, because Nathan's treated really badly and you have to go into that to a certain extent. Um, but it's not there for shock value, it's to show how awful people can easily become. It's real. I was surprised at myself, gosh, these people are really violent, but it, it seemed that it was the appropriate thing to do. And, um, and my whole point, and I really believe this very strongly, is that you shouldn't, as a writer, um, sort of try and make it light. I think in some movies, for example, and certainly some books I've read, um, they sort of show some violence and then sort of make a joke of it or wink or something like that. And I really object to that because I just think, you just wouldn't. I've never personally seen a fact where somebody smiles at the end of it and makes light of it. It's really horrible. And the whole point is to make it seem really horrible as it should be. Um, so I think the age group... Well, I don't like to say because everyone's different and, and people uh, are at different stages where re with reading and what things they enjoy, but I certainly think 13 or 14 years plus. But I know some people who've read it younger, but they're quite advanced for their age, I think. Um, did you base any characters on actual people you know? Ah, no, of course not. I couldn't possibly say that, especially not Jessica. I have to say Jessica is the name of my... Um, niece and uh, she's so unlike this Jessica that I felt quite okay about including her name because she's such a nice person that I th thought it was quite clear that I wasn't really Jessica I was talking about. Um, no, there's not really. I think it's all fictional and I think you get, as a writer, you get ideas from a mixture of people, I suppose, films, other books, and just your imagination, what people would, would do. But I think you have to try and be realistic and put yourself in people's shoes. So I have to imagine if I was Nathan, what would I do? If I was Jessica, what would I do? Things like that. Do you personally feel like you're like any of the characters? Um, I, you know, the really, the hardest person I found to write, going back to this question about difficult things to write, the hardest person I found to write was Annalise, and strangely, I find her probably most like me. Uh, she's quite an ambiguous character, I think, and not quite. And blonde. Well, yeah, I don't. I wasn't modelling her hair on me, but um, but she, uh, but yeah, she, I find her quite difficult, and I think it's probably that for that reason. Um, do you feel that Marcus is a good character or a bad one? Oh boy. Well, he kills lots of people and he eats their hearts. So I call that quite bad myself. Um, he's, uh, we don't see very much of him in this book. And um, he's, uh, he's, however, he is Nathan's father. And, and I think my point of view in the book was trying to show him towards Nathan. He, he, Nathan's his son and he, I can't reveal too much about what happens, but, but there, there's a relationship there that is different to necessarily with other people and certainly with wine, which is he hates, he definitely hates them. Um, in the first book, did you have any influence on the front cover design? Because like, you know you said it's Nick. No, I am so bad at design, you won't believe it. I had, I gave my ideas to to Ben, my editor, because uh, he asked me what I, I thought, and I had this brilliant idea for an eye, because eyes are quite important in the book. And um, anyway, I'm glad to say they completely ignored me, and <laughs> they came up with this. And as soon as I saw the bloody water, I thought, oh yeah, it's perfect. Really well. like, I didn't get it at first, and I was like, oh, it's a face. And I was like, oh my gosh, no, I didn't notice that until she went to go. She put it out to me. Like, if you had a gift, what do you think it would be? Um, why and how do you use it, like for the good or the bad? Or? Oh well, I'm very, very good, of course. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing quite a lot on potions. I shouldn't really give too much away what's happening in the second book, but there's quite a lot on potions, and and 
they're quite fun actually, the potions, because they're stronger than you might think. You can do a lot of things with the potions. So I quite like that. Um, but actually, I think changing your disguise, so you, like the, the gift that Jessica has to look like somebody else, would be great fun too. Especially for a writer, because then you can sort of step into somebody else's shoes and see what it's like being you for a day. <laughs> what is your favourite character in the book? Um, oh, oh, gosh, it's so difficult, this. I, I have three, really. Nathan, obviously, he's the main character, and I've spent so much time with him. I just, yeah. He's like a son. Yes, very, very strong bond I have with him. But the fun characters I've had to write were the, the scenes between him and Celia at the beginning of the book, which I just love doing, and also between him and Gabrielle towards the end of the book, which, again, I just love writing. If you could choose to be a witch, would you be a black or white one, and like why? Well, having said I'd be good, I have to say the black witches do have a heck of a lot more fun, in my opinion. So I think, and they can be quite nice. So certainly, I think a good black witch would be nice, in my opinion. At some point in the book, the white ones seem worse than the black ones. They do, yes. I certainly wouldn't want to be a nasty black witch, not Jessica. Well, the black witches have good, much more fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and finally, could you give one word to describe your book? Oh gosh, that's really hard. Um, no, oh, um, <laughs> I must read. Oh, that's really mean. That's a hard question to spring on me at the end. <laughs> Thank you very much for answering our questions, and it's been a pleasure to hear what you have to say. Thank um, you.